Hey guys, so I want to share a few things. Um, I'm going to do that uh, while making the map uh, Monster Arena. Uh, this is just a screenshot for what I want to make, but um, I'm just going to remake it. Uh, you're going to start with a little sword elite guy <laughs> and you're going to fight all these monsters. And um, I'm going to make it pretty cool. So uh, I'm also going to um, steal or just you borrow a few things from the other mods and those mods are true power to bring future dying world to second world the second water reform crystallized doom and a little part of dusk so um this is from a little uh, mod i put together the 5ts mod so i put all these mods together in one scene scene at client all in one art and um i can show you real quick uh, so um all the mix files are are in there if you extract the pack Wait, I'm going too fast. Uh, you can download it here. So when you download it, it's a, a mega. It's uploaded on mega. So when you download it, the pack, extract it anywhere you want, and then um, you can see in a mix folder you got all these mix files, and that's basically all the mods. And uh, I put I put um, all the art in one single file. So it's got all those mods art in here. <laughs> um, so s just a few things override it, but I mean it it it's fine you can actually play it um you know what I, I might as well just show you real quick so the way the rules work is that i put all the rules in the maps the factions you got to choose with starting point so let's say we want to we want to play uh to in reform and one is forgotten so we can just pick one of the maps that i made like uh, i don't know um any will do so press uh, start one and anyway so it has uh, the forgotten and uh, screen and a lot of cabals and all kinds of all kinds of factions <laughs> like this is the screen from true power this is the cabal from true power I think um, it has some dusk option uh, maps uh, and this is I'm not sure which one it is they're all really freaking cool man so I I recommend you check this out and uh, I'm gonna steal a few things from this pack just so that I um, I got what I want for my map so I want to do um, I want to steal the a mauler a dinosaur and a squid but I will do that in the next part of the video so I've also added a few of those mods um, tiles so as you can see here, relics clear. This makes it all real pretty. And then we've got the, uh, and then you can make all kinds of stuff. Then you can use all the other tiles to get some rough and all that. I'm not sure if we will use the let to clear it out, but um, s some of it takes some work, especially if you want to make it real pretty. I believe um, you got to use the let, I think. Yeah, to make it, to pretty it out like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of show you real quick how I did that. If you hold control, of course, you can just use this one. This one is just as close as the normal, the normal clear. So you can use the normal clear in here too. I mean the normal grounds. But this one's kind of pretty. Anyway, I'll show you real quick how I add all these. And how I created um, these things too. So, um, so all you need to do for that is, uh, is you just find the tiles. So you open up XCC mixer and then, um, and then I believe those were at, uh, lost relics. Yeah, I got these from lost relics. They're all in here. So you just um, control A, you just um, take everything out first because they have the, the original names because that mod used the original names of the, the tiles. So you want to rename all those tiles. So I can just show you real quick. I'll just do it. I'll just put it in the same. Oh, wait. I'll just put it in a different folder real quick. I'll just put it in E. Uh, one second. Call it. Five, so refresh, and then press Control A, and you can right-click, copy here, and then it will all 
extract over here and then I like uh, book rename utility and you can easily rename all these files real quick so let's open that up and then you can control A select it all and um, you can also edit all the numbering over here it's really easy you can add you can change the names any way you like anyway um, let's just add like a relic to all of it rel <laughs> so that's so that they have an original name and then rename that's okay so they're all renamed right now so that's a really cool little piece of software um, you can remove that one and then you can add it all back into a mix file so let's just get a random mix file just for tutorial purposes let's see we'll just get a mix file add it up add it into the folder go to xcc mixer again press f5 open it up um, delete everything that's in there and then Control A, hold Control to un to unselect something else, and let's drag all this in there. So if this doesn't work, it means that you're using um, XCC Mixer in admin mode, I think. So this one is not on on uh, administrator mode, I believe. So I think this one will work. So let's try it in this one yeah that works so now you want to right click and press compact I forgot to put that in a recording <laughs> so but I think yeah <laughs> the temp edit doesn't I mean the, the view doesn't work right now yeah there's no nothing in here I can show you this real quick to the directory um, you can download this I'll, I'll put it all in in the final zone uh, standalone, so you don't have to worry about all these files that I'm showing you. Um, it was searching for the ISO tem and uh, no wait the CCT zone that makes it's got all the the pellets in there. So you want this folder, Control C, and just put it all in there, something like that, and then you restart it. And um, use admin administrator, and then, then you have them right there. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes other things don't work, which is really weird. Um, <laughs> um, somebody probably has a solution for that. But anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, I renamed all that. I put it in a mix file, and so it is now all in. Ikachi 16, so I'm just gonna call this uh, Ikachi 70 real quick, and then you can put the Ikachi 70. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the the final sound standalone in the mix file, add it in there, and then you go to its ini folder, go to temperate, because it's a temperate, and then you can just copy one tile set that has the same the same type, and then you give it the name. And that's how easy it is. So the name was, uh, how do we name it again? Uh, we named it rel clat. Oh, and we also need to make one for red clear, red cur, red. So I already did it with this one. As you can see, I, I call them rel instead of rel. <laughs> so you gotta make one for each um, different file name. And also I wanna tell you that uh, zero one is the first file that you find in Final Sun, and then the A is like the, s the second one that will automatically make. So this will have two. If you move your mouse, you can see it, it uses this one. And this is the A one, this is the normal one, and this is the A one. <laughs> so that's what that does. And then you've got, um, um, like this one has a few different ones too. That's probably A, B, C, and D too. That's just a normal clear that I use. Let's see the different clear. The R clear. Let's see. Um, let's go open up XCC Mixer and view that one real quick. So I put them in here. R clear. Yes. So this got A, B, 
uh, C, D, E, F, and G, and the normal one. You can't forget the one without the letter. So that's the only one it uses, and then it uses all those. If you don't use, if you if you don't use the letters and just use the numbering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like this, then you can just pick them all separately. Uh, yeah, like this. So that's how I made those. Uh, I made this with Photoshop. You can easily create these with Photoshop uh, with uh, XCC. TMP editor, I just call it temp, temp editor. It's right here, it's this one. So you open this up and then you uh, open up one of your uh, temps. So this is the one. And then um, this is the one I want to edit right now. And then you open up the palette and you got to get this palette, ISO temp.pal. Open this up and then you can just uh, click this line right here and copy or just press Control C. And then we open up Photoshop and paste it right there and make all your edits. If you're good with Photoshop, if you're not good with Photoshop, then I recommend you learning something. Anyway, um, you can make all kinds of little edits to this one. And then, um, uh, yeah, keep the blue. <laughs> you gotta keep the blue because that's just the, the uh, transparent. Anyway, you can just, uh, when you merge all the layers back, you can control A, control C, and paste it back in there with control V, and then you can just make your own name. Yep, and then you redo the stuff that I just showed you before. So that's how easy that is.